Oh, mate, what a nightmare. Listen, um, I've been fucking posting madly in this synthesizer group trying to get make sense of it, and I just realised, it just dawned on me, why I ordered a book about MIDI, about, like, um... Because I've always tried to avoid MIDI. Let me tell you, the first time I ever come across MIDI was in 2002. I start, I'd done it, was doing a college course about like um, about making music through computers. It, yeah, 2002 it was. And the first thing I ever learned about MIDI was you have your drums on channel, channel 10. That's what they always told me. And I thought, I didn't understand it. Like, why have them on channel 10? Why like? Yeah, and so in college, you... Because um, it was learning music through computers... After college, I just avoided MIDI in college. Like, I just avoided it. All I needed was a MIDI controller and, like, whatever. They they weren't that popular back then. But anyway, because I, I just carried on learning, making music through a computer, I, um... I did, you, did, you didn't really need MIDI, like, you know what I mean? With all the plugins and that. I'm, not that you didn't need it. You did it. You, you could make music and not be aware of what MIDI was doing, like, do you know what I mean? And... With hardware and synthesizers and that, it's sort of like you've got to know it, haven't you? You've got to know what MIDI is. You can't really avoid it. Now my time's come. But anyway, I've, I've ordered a book now. I'm going to read the book, man, so I, I need it bad. But look, let me just show you what this was an issue I was having, yeah? And if you're not aware of it, you're going to have the same issue, man. Um, Let me just clear all that. Clear. Right, oh. Right, so look, nothing nothing in there, yeah? Boom, let's go into that. Right, MIDI, well, we want MIDI channel 10. Right, and there. The MIDI, MIDI in and out, at the at from the, from the live is going to the in, to the TR8S, and the at is going into the in. Um, I've only got one audio, Jack, because that's mono. So, as well, what you have to do is, as well, on here... On this track, wait, how do you do it? Oh, yeah, look. On the audio, in, you just have one input. That's the mono. And then the output one and two, and then it comes out of both channels. But anyway, yeah, so. Um, let's get rid of that because that confuses me. Right, put this there. So, at the minute, now when I press play. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> right, so this is one of these two, yeah. You've got to have them off, both of them. Like, no, I'm never having either turning either one on again. USB MIDI through off and soft through off. You've got to have them both turned off because if you don't have them turned off, I'll turn them both back on to show you what it would do. I weren't expecting it to do that, but also what it was doing when it when the signal was coming through clear. Like, I don't know, I don't want to do it again, because that noise was fucking horrible. But it weren't recording any MIDI, because I didn't have, I didn't have the in from the TR-8S going... No, I didn't have the, I didn't have the in from the MPC. But when, one, I'm sure it was when one of them was turned on, either the USB through, or that soft through, then it weren't recording the patterns. And now watch, like, if I press overdub... I think I've got some sort of little sync issue though. Like, I obviously, well, I don't know, it's like the metronome and that don't sound right, but. But there you go, a little bit of, um, now I've just got to work out how to MIDI chain it. You see, because this one, this has only got a MIDI in and a MIDI through. And the through, I know the through, what the through does now. The through only echoes the information that's coming into it. That's all the MIDI through does. Just echoes the information coming in. I'm not sure, man. It's, it's a lot to take, you know, if I'm honest. But anyway, I kept trying.